solve for x in terms of p. Now you've got an equation 2, 2 raised to 3x plus 1 is equal to 8 raised to p. Now this type of question uh, test whether you really know how to solve equation or whether you can press a calculator or especially a graphic calculator to get the answer. So yeah, as in solving equations always to look at the two sides. Here you can see 2 raised to 3x plus 1 and here 8 raised to p. So I'm thinking, can I write this 8 as 2? Well, you should know 8 is 2 cubed. 2 raised to 3 is 8. So I'm going to write 8 as 2 cubed. So this left, left hand side I'm going to write as it is. So 2 raised to 3x plus 1 is equal to, I'm going to write this as 2 cube raised to p. So this is 8. So you can, uh, I put a bracket here. So this 8 has been written as 2 cube. Okay, so this is 2, again the same thing, 2 raised to 3x plus 1 is equal to 2 raised to, when you have a power of power, this is a power of this power, you multiply the power, so this is 3p. So now it's a matter of only comparing, you've got 2 raised to something, and here you've got 2 raised to something. So this something is equal to this something. So well, you can write this as a simple linear equation, 3x plus 1 is equal to p. Now taking away 1 from both sides, 3x is equal to uh, 3, oh, this is 3p, not p. 3x is equal to 3, 3x plus 1 is equal to 3p. So 3x is equal to 3p, take away 1 or minus 1. Now dividing both sides by 3, so this would be 3p divided by 3 minus 1 divided by 3. So final answer is x is equal to p, p minus 1 third. And this is what especially in NZQA or NCE exams, this type of questions are being asked where you have to write or solve for X in terms of a letter. So let's uh, move on to the next question. Solve for X in terms of B. So yeah, this is a log example, so we need to apply the log rules. So this is log base B of 2X minus 2 log base b of x is equal to 1. So applying the log rule here, I can write this as log base b of 2x minus log base b of x squared. Okay, so this is applying the log rule of power. So this is now you are taking away log base b of 2x minus log b of x squared. So that is applying again the log rule. So this is log base b of 2x divided by x squared is equal to 1. So now this is a log form from the log form. So let's simplify this a little. So this is log base b 2x divided by x squared is same as 2 divided by x squared. 2 divided by x is equal to 1. Okay, so this x squared, you've got 1x gets cancelled. So 2 divided by x. Okay, so what will happen? So now you can write this as an exponent form. So this is same as writing v raised to 1 is equal to 2 over x. Writing this in the exponent form, 2 over x. 2 over x and writing, making x the subject, x is equal to 2 over b. So x, the solution of x in terms of b is 2 over b. Okay, so you can put this value back and then check the answer. So let's check the answer. Okay, so we say that, let me use a different color. So just to check, check it here, so if you put x as 2 over b, I can write this as log base b of 2 times 1, 2 times 2 over b. 
Uh, so let me cancel this. Oh, let me highlight this and cancel it. I need space here, so let me. Okay, so do it again. So this is, I want to check whether my answer is right. Uh, okay, so this is, I'm putting x as 2 over b. So this is log base b of 2x, that is 2 times 2 over b, minus, this is 2 log base b of 2 over b. So this is log base b of 4 over b minus log of log base b of 2 over b the whole squared which is equal to log base b of 4 over b minus log of base b of 4 over b squared. So applying the log rule is log base b of 4 over b divided by 4 over b squared. Okay, I didn't want to check this, but let's see. Let's move on. So this is 4 over b squared uh, divided by 4 over b squared. 4 over b divided by 4 over b squared is log base b of, can I write like this? So this is 4 divided by b times, this b squared will go up, b over 4, b squared, sorry. So this 4 and 4 gets cancelled, this b and b gets cancelled. So this is log base b of b, and that is 1. So the answer is right.